When Jonathan Monk and his family get hungry, they no longer have to feel guilty about eating out because he's got an army of Instagram followers ready to foot the bill. Today we're taking a closer look at this massive book titled Restaurant Drawings by Jonathan Monk. This book was published in 2019 by Karma and is part of their ongoing Brick Book series and is one of my favorite books in my entire collection. This book showcases over 500 drawings that Monk has made through the years of 2017 through 2019, but is still a series that still prevails to this day. The title Restaurant Drawings are exactly that. Monk and his family will go out to eat, get the check, and then head home. Sounds like a pretty normal dinner, right? But the work starts as soon as he's home. Monk is quoted as saying, I didn't have a studio then, and I wanted a project that would keep me busy and give me something to do. There's a great essay in the front of this book called Free Lunch by Pedro Alonso that's definitely worth a read and goes more in depth about how Jonathan Monk utilizes social media. The drawings consist of reproductions of iconic works by some of the leading figures in conceptual art that include Barbara Kruger, Ed Ruscha, Donald Judd, Christopher Wool, Richard Prince, and so many more. I'm sure you'll recognize at least one of the works in the book. Some of these receipts are thermal printed, while others go old school and are just scribbles on a piece of paper. I love that some of the works take up the entire receipt, while others just utilize a small empty space that perfectly frames whatever he's drawn. Once the drawings on the receipt are complete, he'll then post it to Instagram and offer to sell the newly reconstructed ready-made artwork for the price of his meal. He's found a way to frustrate snobby art collectors, but also please the ones who felt like they could never afford art. His drawings typically range from $2 to $200, but are somewhere in the $20 to $40 range typically. He said once in an interview, the drawing is quite easy, but then following up, tax, accounts, invoices, they'll probably become the reason I stopped doing them. It's the same amount of paperwork required for a $20,000 work as it is for a $2 one. You'll see lots of work as I flip through this book, but they all feel very curated in a way that's visually appealing when viewed next to the drawing on the other page. As well as the backgrounds, each photograph of the actual drawings are so well thought out and pair nicely with the drawing itself. Now I've been lucky enough to purchase one of his drawings, so let's take a closer look at what I've got. As you can see, I'm an animal when it comes to opening up envelopes, but that's not super relevant. I got mine in 2021 for $21 and couldn't be happier. Now I've never really taken it out and looked at it in depth, so you guys get to tag along as I open it for the first time since it was made about three years ago. I love this little note that he writes on the paper covering the drawing, until then, JM. It comes packaged in a neat manner, and the receipt is in a little wax envelope to further protect the drawing during transport. It's a weird feeling that almost doesn't feel natural to hold the receipt with such care and delicacy, but this drawing consists of a Solowit incomplete cube drawing and is very dainty yet structured. Now I've done my research and find it quite funny that this receipt comes from a restaurant that actually specializes in chicken tenders, which, if you know me, is perfect. Overall, I absolutely love what Monk has done for the art world utilizing social media and its accessibility, and he has forever changed the game. Be sure to check out this book and let me know down in the comments, would you buy a drawing for the price of his meal?